my question is going back to what you were saying about demand. Okay. Um, my or, or with the government intervention thing, my question is, if people don't want to buy these right now or they can't afford them or it's half and half, but the, but California and twenty thirty five in California, I believe right? It is. And these and there's a bunch of other countries that are that are. Uh, pushing it too. Um, if they Germany, if, the EU, I think specifically is doing a twenty thirty five. I think Canada's talking about it. I think New York, California, Washington, or yeah. Oregon. So yeah. there's multiple places that are talking about like in the next ten years, you have to buy an EV. That's not right. going to happen out here. Or even like but my point is, okay. how, what what does that what does that look like if people say either I can't afford it or I don't want it. I want I want an ICE vehicle, but the government's saying, well, we have tax credits and and you need to buy it and all this stuff. Does that actually how does that work? You know, I think people in California are gonna drive to like Arizona and go buy a car. Or I mean, l- but look at the companies like Ford and stuff. They 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 came out with their EVs and people still say they don't want. And them. they're losing money. And they they're didn't losing want money. It. They're hundred thousand dollars for. Again, if you're let's say you're a business, let's say you own a construction company in California, and you know right now I've got ten years to replace my fleet with EV trucks. Right, my EV trucks are hundred thousand dollars. So you've got ten years to make a decision. I got a whole bunch of guys driving around pickup trucks. And I got to got buy hundred thousand dollar pickup trucks, and I don't get the the range out of them because I got to charge them every day and whatever. Sure. I mean, so what does that look like as a business?